Well, well, hello everyone. Welcome to Napoleonic Wars, a nice Sunday event, event here, I should say, as hosted by the 19th. And as you can see, they've kind of started already. Um, we came in a little bit late, and uh, we're going to look up here um, and find out what's going on. Because this looks to me to be a little bit of trouble, the second TS. Oh god, that's very painful end. And here is the first EB, Stuban for Est. And down goes the sailor, ladies and gentlemen, the sailor has fallen. Yes, precisely. But the Royal Artillery remain, the 19th Artillery there, remain aiming his Lieutenant Aragorn. So, you can see it is the Ostriches versus United Kingdom. And Colonel Kepper with a nice team kill as well. Here's Corporal Brownies from the first CTA. In there's the Black Watch. There we go, Major Warwolf. Lovely stuff. Who's the leader? There he is, Colonel New Guy. Oh, the cannonballs rattling past them. Holding on to the flag. There's Brownies. Oh, lovely shot coming in. Into the CTA from this artillery, the Austrian artillery. Oh my goodness, it's the Ginger Ninja, everyone. In as an engineer. Let's follow him as he goes in for a bit of stab and a grab. A bit of stabby goodness. Look at this. And he kills him. Murdering has occurred. There's Charlie the Turtle murdering others as well. The artillery section, Corporal Natter. Chief Centurion. Silver lining as the medic. There's old Chuck the Turtle. And there's the quick one. Look at that face. Anyway, that is the Austrian artillery section, as supported by Silver Lion, and supported by additional forces like Charles Lafayre, Van Mercenary Captain up here, the Jack being flown high by Aztir, and here is Alia, or Alia from the second TES. Now, let's go hunting around for others. Max Tail from the 19th. Also coming in, oh my goodness. Cornucopia, oh my goodness, we just called him Corn. That's easier. So Carl, Corn is charging in, correction. Corn just lost two of his boys. Hiding behind the rocks. Disciplined Dino 7. And look at this, very disciplined from the Dino. Going in after the artillery, they're gonna murder some of the horses. And Disciplined Dino goes charging in. And there's Corn. You can see him with his fine sabre, long officer sabre. Going in for a bit of murdering and stabbing. High Lord. Defending himself, Major High Lord no less. Let's see, they're going in after this last man. Oh, Potato Cuzzle has been sliced. He is no more. Never mind. The more murdering occurs. Oh, corn just got decolonelled. Very nasty. And here's can't for me, first EB. And he unfortunately can't. So, let's see, shall we? Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Here's Henker from the 77Y, Sergeant. Man, random rocks. There's a lot of rocks. To be honest, I, I would question how you would have so many rocks in a desert area. Surely the wind and the sand would have worn them all down. Henker has survived. So has Chuck the Turtle. Major High Lord, but not for long. What a surprise. Aztec did not make it. That's a shocker. Never mind. Let's see. Who's going after? So it's six versus five. So what's going on here? There's Duceda. Flau Duceda of the 19th. Building a defensive fort <laughs> of planks. Oh, look at that. They took a lady from behind. That's harsh. That's just a very ungentlemanly behaviour there from the 77Y. 
Lieutenant Aragon. Oh, stab badly. Oh, fine slice into Charles. Lovely stab there, or slice, I should say. K. Antonio from the 19th going up against Henker. More members of the 77Y. There's Walter from the 2ETS. Antonio may be the last man standing. How long will he remain standing? We'll have to wait and see. He's up against four men. Oh, look at this. And he's cut down by High Lord. Well, that was quick. We move on to the next round. And we're back on the second round. And oh my goodness, look out. It's a sailor. An artillery sailor, no less. So you can see now the Cantonio and the horse being driven by Bombardier Inquisitor Tom and Lieutenant Aragorn and there the engineering work being done by the fine buxom Frau Duceda. So you can see here the forces of the British Army moving out, following in behind new guy, Colonel of the 1st CTA. And also additional lines coming in from the 19th. From the guard, El Presidente, the Major. And, oh my goodness, where did Khan go? So the first EB decided to pull back slightly. There's Corporal McCabe of the 19th. Now, who's this man? Lance Corporal Potato Cuzzle. What a fantastic name. And the cannonballs. Oh, this could be dangerous. Cannonballs flying over heads. Colonel Fury. Yep, there we go. Bulldog KGM is no more, as you can see. Intercepted a la cannonball. And Bino has just punched Corporal Brownies to death. So a bit of in, in the ranks discipline going on. Stummflower, Stummflower. From the first DB waiting. More cannonballs coming in. Taking down High Lord as well. Oh, there's Hit and Blast. So there's the late departed High Lord. And the 77Y artillery section returning. Oh, that actually might be High Lord. Yeah, I think that's a good chance that that's High Lord. So, uh, yeah, not, not a good end. Not a good end for High Lord. Or what's left of High Lord, I should say. Anyway. More cannonballs come rolling over. As Chuck the Turtle. He's not he is, he's holding up his spyglass to his covered eye. Needs to get that sorted out. Might explain why they keep missing. But we'll have to wait and see. Now are these AFK horsemen? Invitational lander and Musk Panda from the first TES. Ooh, Tercio, there's a name I haven't seen for a while. Next to the 16th cap. Tercio Red Ducks. Sergio Kong. Brujo. Kavoth. And there is Shakal, the sergeant. Always a pleasure to see those guys. And in the 16th, there's Mariachi Archibald. Lieutenant Minsk Meat. <laughs> what a great name. So let's see. Chosen Chosen Cyrus Cyrus. Chosen Cyrus Cyrus. I should say. So let's see what we're doing. Oh hello. The 19th artillery, sorry, artillery, cavalry even. Now, who are they led by? We ask ourselves. There he is. Gandalf the White 13. Obviously, there was 12 Gandalf the Whites beforehand, but clearly they weren't the best version. This is version 13.0. Most important, most important. Some say 13 is unlucky. We'll wait and see. Colonel okay, New Guy waiting with the CTA guys to breach the top of the hill. And see what awaits them. And it looks like they're trying to sneak up on the enemy. Moving up as a long line. 
and supported by an additional line here of the Brits. There with the 19th El Presidente leading everyone forward. Inquisitor Tom and of course Hunter for 40,000 artillery sailor. Well, precisely. Oh, God. Do you say they're building artillery Fort Derp? As you can see, fine derpy work being done by Duceda. <coughs> Don't even know what's going on here. As Lionel manages to intercept a cannonball. Look at this. <coughs> oh, there we go. They've come under attack. And they've moved into artillery Fort Derp and they've dismounted and they're taking down the defences as they're building quickly. Here we go, they're charging their way in. Slice and dice, there's Yorick van Hyde. And they're doing a good job of defending themselves. Doing a very good job of defending themselves. And they're still trying to murder all, every, all the defences. Oh, the planks are being taken down. And now they've been forced to fight. Oh dear, down goes one. The engineer's fallen. And who's left standing? K. Antonio from the 19th comes down, gets an axe, and gets sliced across the back for his troubles. Oh goodness me. Oh no, it's the sailor. The sailor remains with a goddamn toothpick of a sword. Look at this. Fine sailory goings on. Oh, look at that. Takes down one man. I'm not saying anything about sailors and men. Oh, another kill. Exiled. Corporal Path is now permanently exiled. Oh, dear. That's a bad moment for a beer horse. Never mind. So www.gamerfuel.com First EB, nice product placement. Down come the burp, the black watch with the first CTA. With crazy cat, was that crazy carrots? Oh no, it's crazy camis. Carrots on the brain, too much Minecraft. Oh dear, 19th Malekith here has just snuffed it. <clears throat> As the rest of the forces continue to charge towards the Austrians. With a nice team kill. And there goes the first, second TES GFR. Euro Stolumpfi decided to leg it. And there's another Euro Strumpfi. And there's Erstfeldberg. My goodness. There's Fern not only. Lordius Tercio with the flag. Places the flag in a position of defiance. And it almost immediately gets taken. As they continue to defend themselves, here's Private Noob Sniper. Oh, he gets hit by a random horse. As the Black Watch and their supporters and helpers continue to move in. There, the Marines moving in to attack. You can see mass murdering still occurring. <coughs> And the remaining members of the Austrian army are being cleared out. Well, precisely. So, where is the remaining Austrians? There's one. Is it Hugo? No, it's Aaliyah. Here she is. She goes up against Sturban Führer Est. And here comes the rest of the army. Can Stubam know the kill is stolen by Argentinian? And that is the end of that round. Well, we're back on the next round. We're in here with High Lord. Carrying a couple of interlopers. There's Ricky Maru. Engineer is Sue National. And there's White Knight. Lieutenant. 
We thankfully are not on comms there. We'll soon be swearing in German. But there he is. Wearing his hat the wrong way, probably. Everyone else is wearing theirs forward. He's got to wear his slightly different. Never mind. He's always been special. Now, up the top here. Mercenary Captain and Ricky. Working together with Marksman, Chap and Henker. They're all pretty much up there trying to get their rocks off. But we'll have to leave them aside. And let these guys get on with it. There's Sue National is doing the engineering. And here is Lieutenant Chelsis of the first CTA. Look at this wonderful line of black watch. Don't they look marvellous? With Captain Bino leading the boys forward. With Brownies and Bengay and Dougie. Mister. Private Doc. Regular Noob. Veteran Burn. Josh 87. Dim 4. Drakthal, Warwolf, Epil Packer, and there's obviously the Lieutenant at the end. And you've got these guys also getting ready. Those cannonballs flying over the top of the hill. One cannonball drops a bit lower. It's going to take out multiple horses and sailors. Complete with their toothpick swords. So... Waiting for the off, but they're in a good position because the cannonball, if it bounces on this hill, like this one, it's not going to be able to then bounce lower. It's going to still follow the same trajectory. A bit lower, but still won't be a danger to those guys. So they're kind of in a good area right now to stay away from it. Captain Bino, however, may get beamed by a cannonball. We'll have to wait and see. In come the cannonballs onto the British. There's Game of Fuel. And Discipline Dino. Along with Natu and Argentinian and the rest of the lads. Following Colonel Fury, complete with Daisy and his gob. And here, Noob Sniper. In by the looks of it is the Baker Rifleman, the 19th here. They'll be in skirmisher formation. They're keeping it relatively open. As Potato Cuzzle tries to keep the guys below this level. So they can stay away from those nasty cannonballs. And Colonel McCabe has just intercepted a cannonball. In the best traditions of Napoleonic Wars. The officers always seem to get hit in the face. Don't know why that is. Obviously a, uh, a trend set by many, many, many commanding officers throughout Napoleonic Wars. The likes of Malekith has to, obviously, and... Uh, Lands Mac and uh, various other members of the 33rd. Oh, Cadet Virus. Always good to see more cadets in the 77Y and all regiments, considering the age of the game. Corporal Natter, who is currently communing with nature for some reason. God only knows what he's doing. So. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? Hmm. Looking through the spyglass, it's the turtle. Forming a plan. The engineering continues. Corporal Natter with fine rampart creations. Cannibals continue to be fired. A couple of AFKers. Or maybe not. Oberleutnant von Richthofen. Checking through his spyglass. And look at that. The cannonballs continue. Colonel Kepper gets taken down by the cavalry out in the field. Oh my god. <coughs> this is kind of normal for the artillery section of the 77Y. That's very much the standard. Kind of get used to it after a while with these numpties. Anyway. Their opposing forces. The 19th Artillery, Lieutenant Aragorn. And also their Duceda building. To her heart's content. Some additional barricades. 
Look at all this barricading. Wow. To say there's been a very busy girl to stop the interception of the horses getting close to them. Wow, this is fine work here by Deseda. Really good. Excellent stuff. Many build points are being used. As Hunter, 40,000. In his summer outfit. Continues to work hard. Supporting his teammates. So. Bulldog KGM of the first DB, along with the lads, moving away. Going in search of the artillery section and other members of the Austrian army. Natter, who currently is taking a tea break. And Alpha White 13. Down goes Corporal Brownies. Oh, this is brutal for these guys. Let's see, it's the 16th. Corporal El Mariachi. Hobel Nager. And there's Chosen Sire Cyrus. Well, precisely. Billy got chicken. Recruit of the 16th. Frazzle Bean. What a fine name, sir. Oh my goodness, they've gone on an attack from the English. And Frazzle Bean just got sliced in half. Frazzle Bean is no more. Neither is Sias and Noble Nega. And it looks like, oh dear, Billy got chicken. Just got deboned as well. Unfortunate. Who's this? It's Leno, Invitational Leno of the second TES. His Invitational time has ended. Courtesy of a bayonet. As the 19th now moving out. And they look to be after a last man. Down he goes. And unceremoniously stabbed in the bottom. So. 20 versus 32 on the English side. Except for Silverline who just got killed by a teammate. Oh dear. That didn't go so well. Oh, 19th, Discombobulate Adam. What a fine name, sir. And there's obviously Exiled Corporal Path. Oh, goodness me. Gandalf the White, 13. Turns out 13 is unlucky. Never mind. So they're pausing for the eventual attack by the Redbeard. Stuban Bluest. Now, who are these guys hiding behind the rock? It's the 19th skirmishers, those fine Baker riflemen, not really equipped to fight hand to hand with a musket with a 17 inch bayonet on the end. Charlie the Turtle now doing engineering as well to try and defend his position. Artillery Fort Derp is being built. Look at this. The cannonballs still continue to try and break it down as the British Army, the likes of Fusilier 77 of the 19th, come charging in to try and finish it, finish it all off. And now you can see the Austrians fighting a desperate rearguard action from this attack of the Brits. Oh, fine stab there from Charlie. From who is this fella? Who is this fella? Lordius Tercio, now under attack, kills another, wow, look at him, his tunic blood stained from his own blood, until he actually got done to death, oh dear, that's the end of that round, we're on to the next, well we're back on the next round, we're in here with High Lord, carrying a couple of interlopers, there's Ricky Maru, Engineer is Sioux National. And there's White Knight. Lieutenant. Be thankful you're not on comms there. We'll soon be swearing in German. But there he is. Wearing his hat the wrong way, probably. 
Everyone else is wearing theirs forward. He's got to wear his slightly different. Never mind, he's always been special. Now, up the top here, Mercenary Captain and Ricky, working together with Marksman Chap and Henker. They're all pretty much up there trying to get their rocks off, but we'll have to leave them aside and let these guys get on with it. And Sue National is doing the engineering. And here is Lieutenant Chelsis of the first CTA. Look at this wonderful line of black watch. Don't they look marvellous? With Captain Bino leading the boys forward. With Brownies and Bengay and Dougie, Mr. Private Doc, Regular Noob, Veteran Burn, Josh87, Dim4, Drakthal, Warwolf, Epil Packer, and there's obviously the lieutenant at the end. And you've got these guys also getting ready. Those cannonballs flying over the top of the hill. One cannonball drops a bit lower. It's going to take out multiple horses and sailors. Complete with their toothpick swords. So, waiting for the off. But they're in a good position because the cannonball, if it bounces on this hill, like this one, it's not going to be able to then bounce lower. It's going to still follow the same trajectory. A bit lower, but still won't be a danger to those guys. So they're kind of in a good area right now to stay away from it. Captain Bino, however, may get beamed by a cannonball. We'll have to wait and see. Look at that. In come the cannonballs onto the British. There's Game of Fuel. And Disciplined Dino along with Natu and Argentinian and the rest of the lads, following Colonel Fury, complete with Daisy and his gob. And here, Noob Sniper, in by the looks of it, is the Baker Rifleman, the 19th here. They'll be in skirmisher formation. They're keeping it relatively open as Potato Cuzzle tries to keep the guys below this level so they can stay away from those nasty cannonballs. And Colonel McCabe has just intercepted a cannonball in the best traditions of Napoleonic Wars. The officers always seem to get hit in the face. Don't know why that is. Obviously a, uh, a trend set by many, many, many commanding officers throughout Napoleonic Wars. The likes of Malekith has to, obviously, and uh, Lands Mac and uh, various other members of the 33rd. Oh, Cadet Virus! Always good to see more cadets in the 77Y and all regiments, considering the age of the game. Corporal Natter, who is currently communing with nature for some reason. God only knows what he's doing. So. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? Hmm. Looking through the spyglass, it's the turtle. Forming a plan. The engineering continues. Corporal Natter with fine rampart creations. Cannibals continue to be fired. A couple of AFKers. Or maybe not. Oberleutnant von Richthofen. Checking through his spyglass, and look at that, the cannonballs continue. Colonel Kepper gets taken down by the cavalry out in the field. Oh my god. <coughs> this is kind of normal for the artillery section of the 77Y. That's very much the standard. Kind of get used to it after a while with these numpties. Anyway, their opposing forces, the 19th Artillery, Lieutenant Aragorn, and also their Duceda building to her heart's content. Some additional barricades. Look at all this barricading. Wow. Duceda's been a very busy girl to stop the interception of the horses getting close to them. 
Wow, this is fine work here by Desada. Really good. Excellent stuff. Many build points are being used. As Hunter, 40,000. In his summer outfit. Continues to work hard. Supporting his teammates. So. Bulldog KGM of the first DB. Along with the lads moving away. Going in search of the artillery section. And other members of the Austrian army. Natta, who currently is taking a tea break. And Alpha White 13. Down goes Corporal Brownies. Oh, this is brutal for these guys. Let's see, it's the 16th. Corporal El Mariachi. Hobel Nager. And there's Chosen Sire Cyrus. Well, precisely. Billy got chicken. Recruit of the 16th. Frazzle Bean. What a fine name, sir. Oh my goodness, they've gone on an attack from the English. And Frazzle Bean just got sliced in half. Frazzle Bean is no more. Neither is Sias and Noble Nega. And it looks like, oh dear, Billy got chicken. Just got deboned as well. Unfortunate. Who's this? It's Leno, Invitational Leno of the second TES. His Invitational time has ended. Courtesy of a bayonet. As the 19th now moving out. And they look to be after a last man. Down he goes. And unceremoniously stabbed in the bottom. So. 20 versus 32 on the English side. Except for Silverline, who just got killed by a teammate. Oh dear. That didn't go so well. Oh, 19th, Discombobulate Adam. What a fine name, sir. And there's obviously Exiled Corporal Path. Oh, goodness me. Gandalf the White, 13. Turns out 13 is unlucky. Never mind. So they're pausing for the eventual attack by the Redbeard. Stubavluest. Now who are these guys hiding behind the rock? It's the 19th skirmishers, those fine Baker riflemen. Not really equipped to fight hand to hand with a musket with a 17 inch bayonet on the end. Charlie the Turtle now doing engineering as well. Try and defend his position. Artillery Fort Derp is being built. Look at this. The cannonballs still continue to try and break it down. As the British Army, the likes of Fusilier 77 of the 19th, come charging in to try and finish it, finish it all off. And now you can see the Austrians fighting a desperate rearguard action from this attack of the Brits. Oh, fine stab there from Charlie, from... Who is this fella? Who is this fella? Lordius Tercio. Now under attack, kills another. Wow, look at him, his tunic blood stained from his own blood. Until he actually got done to death. Oh dear. That's the end of that round, we're on to the next. Well, we're back. We're back. Hmm. What a prey is underway for these members of the ostrich army. Fine plumes. You can see them getting ready to unlimber the cannons. The ramparts already being built. There we go. Unlimbered one side, unlimbered the other. Major High Lord moves the uh, horse to one side. And these guys get their cannons loaded up. Ready to start the bombardment. 
with Charlie, no doubt, checking through his spyglass on the wrong eye. Let's look at that within a minute and a half, nearly two minutes of the game, round starting, they've already fired their first shot. What can you say? Oh, look at this. Ricky up there looking down among the peasants running across the desert. You can see the puffs in the center of the screen there where the artillery is. Oh my goodness, how did they avoid that? Correction, they didn't. Down goes Bothros. He is no more. And so these guys need to move themselves away. See, this is what they've got to be careful of, these cannonballs. Now, they're in this dip of the earth again, so this is going to be helpful. But they're sort of storing their army over here on the left-hand side. To try and protect their numbers from the cannonballs. Now, let's see if we can find out what the Brits are doing. Brits are doing sort of similar. As cannibals continue to fly over the top of their heads. Oh, look at that. A nice celebration volley. Prepare to board. Okay. And there we go. Doing the Napoleonic War. Calisthenics getting themselves warmed up. Out comes the lighting one there. Courtesy of Corporal Path. Sailor of choice. Interesting. What are they trying to do? I wonder if they're trying to distract, maybe. Give the impression there's more there than there actually is, or that there's less there than there actually is. I would say there's less, because there's only a section of them firing. Now, is this the Royal Artillery? Yes, it is. Oh, it's sailors firing as well. As you can see. We fly past. So you hear the cannonballs fly past as well. Oh dear. Trouble with the staff as these guys continue to keep their head down. <laughs> There's a fight broken out in the ranks. The sailor remains disciplined. I wonder how disciplined Dino is going on. Now you can see here, Stubamfuhr, Colonel Fury. One shot's Lenchanks. Of the first DB, Terminus S, and Lieutenant Colonel MPH 222, who appears to be moonwalking, but may have crashed. No, he's not, he's actually moonwalking. <laughs> These guys have an amazing way of just entertaining themselves when they're bored. <coughs> oh, there we go, he's finished. So, oh no, oh no, oh god, this is going to go badly. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So, I don't know how they had dynamite boxes in there, that could have gone really badly. Anyway, we'll have put that round at the end of rather quickly. What is, oh, God. And again. Sons of the hound, come here and get flesh. So. After a quick suicide bombing. And somebody picked up. Whoa! 
Oh dear. The engineer's just been flattened. Corporal Path. Mass Assault Doctrine. Oh dear, more murdering coming in. As here we come, the line. The members of the Tercio trying to form a barricade between their artillery and the defenders. Now the defenders, the RT guard, come charging out to attack the forces. Severath, oh, lovely shot there coming in from Silver Lion. Multiple canister kills on the enemy. And this is where it gets very brutal with the hand-to-hand -hand melee combat. There's El Presidente having a fight. Kills mercenary captain. Oh, look at that. Oh, Sevrath with a cheeky pistol shot. Ricky's fallen. Usually a hippie of the 19th. Here's Major High Lord fighting for his life. Look at this. We'll watch Major High Lord. He does his duty. Oh, fine. Melee skills going from High Lord. Oh, he's been stabbed once, but he's up against two men. And he's ducking in between these two guys to try and avoid the bayonet. Trying to avoid somebody getting behind him, getting in a side stab. And look at this, he's doing a great job. Turns inside them again. Now he's supported by teammates. One of the enemies gets killed. And High Lord still fighting for his life. Look at this, fantastic stuff coming in from High Lord. Goes in for a kick. They both miss the kick. And it's now High Lord up against El Presidente. It's hot major on major action here in the Napoleonic Wars. One stab. And he's got to watch out because these two guys are locked in mortal combat until High Lord gets team killed. <laughs> oh dear. Poor High Lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's not happy. He's not happy. That was a fantastic battle between those two majors. Absolutely fantastic battle. Really, really good to see. So a shout out to High Lord. Fine shout out to High Lord for a great battle, obviously. And a fine melee combat. And look at the bodies everywhere. God. We've lost discipline, Dino. Nineteenth Arty never lost a melee fight. Well, there's always time. And it's the first division making their way over. Lordius Tercio. There goes Silver Line of the 77Y. And over the top of the hill comes the Arty. Aragorn, Hunter, Inquisitor Tom, and K. Antonio. Oh, look at this, the defensive position of these guys. Going in with the Johnson's baby buds. They clean their ears out. Oh, fine, kill! Aragorn with a fantastic kill with a bud. Another bud, and look at this, just battered. And another kill there. Aragorn, better watch out behind him. Aragorn gets stabbed once and murdered. And it's the sailors left standing. Here we go. K. Antonio is no more. And the last man standing is Cledwin of the 19th. Who has just fallen off his horse and died of a heart attack. Well, it's good to know that they've actually found a battlefield that doesn't consist just of sand and lots of bloody rocks. So here they are on the, this will be the next map for the next round after obviously all the standard team killing has been finished. So there we go, we've got to reset the live. And there we go, the Austrian spawn. Two cannons moving out. Oh, 
Has the teams been swapped? No, they have not. There's Misko Jones and other members of the first division. There's Veterano Misko Jones, in fact. Oh, Colonel Kepa of the first division. Misko Jones with the drumming work. We heartily approve. Oh dear. So we're good to hear the drums in Napoleonic Wars. Mm, hiding behind a tree to stop themselves getting murdered. <laughs> oh dear, shot for being the wrong the wrong class. Misko Jones from the 1ARBG deciding to cheese it take her drumming skills elsewhere and hide amongst the horses asses and then they all run off <laughs> Dear, oh dear. So, as you can see, there's Trig Trigloska from the 16th, moving up with here. The 16th also, skirmishes, oh, fine shooting. Oh my goodness, poor Colonel Fury, dead. He almost immediately, oh, fine murdering going on here into the first EB. The Lieutenant Colonel will now have to lead the boys forward. Oh, the cannonballs come rattling over the top. Look at this, the 19th Guard, along with the two LBSF, and the first EB, and of course the horse. The horses of the 19th. There's NASA, and there's PHA 4900. Look at these fine, rich fellows down here. Noob. Of course, the first CTA. And cannibals already from the 19th artillery claiming victims. Looking pretty good. So. <coughs> Let's see what happens, shall we? As you can see, in the kill feed, few people have been lost. Whoa, Nelly! Commentator's curse on poor old Potato Castle. So, Potato Castle has been sliced. Hawkeye from the first EB. And now, Raider. And also here, Lieutenant Dougie. From the first. You can see these guys trying to move into a better position. Along with sailors like Lance, like exiled Lance Corporal Path. And the cannonballs continue to bounce over the earth. So, veteran ducks of Tercio moving forward with other members of the Tercio team. The fine regiment. Cabo Kavoth. And Shakal, of course. Fine beardage on the man. So let's go and have a look around. There he is, Game of Fuel. Terminus Est. And there is the Lieutenant Colonel, MVH-222. Leading the lads forward in quite a broken up formation, not following a line. Following, obviously, the light formation here. Surplus Hilarity. Chosen man, no less. And they're turning to fight against the enemy that is sneaking up behind them. Oh, that cannonball into poor old Lich. Unfortunate timing for him. There's Corporal McCabe of the 19th. Who's just following on behind them? Mars is fabulous. Indeed it is. Now, is he talking about the chocolate bar or is he talking about the planet? Or the God of War? So Mars is now fighting off two people from the Austrian army right now. Kills one, goes in for a second kill, and Mars has fallen. 
Correction, has Mars fallen? I think Mars has fallen, yes. Never mind. The Lord is Tercio currently tail end Charlie on this line as these guys will have to join other lines if they're the sole remaining members of a, of a line. And the next round will be the last round. Now what's going on here? A very defensive position by the 19th, K. Antonio. And now you can see him kind of charging out. Down goes one member of the Royal Artillery. And now you can see them charging in to go after the rest of them. As the remaining members get mopped up. Oh dear. There's Frau de Seda with fine chopper work. Until she's finally finished off with the bayonet. So the artillery has fallen. The Royal Artillery is no more. Oh dear. So, holding the flag, Malekith here from the 19th. Captain Bino leading the boys forward. There's regular Noah. And Lieutenant Dougie of the first CTA. And Lieutenant White Knight. Currently by a backpedaling from the attack of a large number of British, and down he goes. Beaten like a red-headed stepchild. But never mind. Didn't really have anybody to support him. So it was always a one-sided battle as far as he was concerned. Now, we've just lost High Lord. And these guys are going to have toggles on them so they know where the enemy is. These guys are all getting set up and moving forward as large amounts as they can. So where are the enemy? Where are the Austrians coming from? Aha! We see them up ahead. That looks very Austrian to me, and the line snaking towards them. Here we go. Look at this, waiting. <laughs> Fantastic from the second TES. Forming a battle line, breaking and attacking. <laughs> I love it. The first CTA doing their calisthenics and a, a jump into battle. Fantastic stuff. There's Bengay. Oh, murdering going on. Bino unceremoniously killed by a private from his own regiment. Oh, that's not going to go down well. Who remains standing? Look at this. Oh, fine sabre work coming in from Walter until he gets stabbed in the bottom. Who's left? Uh oh. Invite Lionel. His invitation was left in the post. And so we are on the final round. <clears throat> Very nice vote. Love it. So, the first DB moving out. Supported by cavalry on their left flank with Gandalf. The white 13 and there's NASA in there as well. So let's have a look. Sir Valak or Sir Wallach. And there's Potato Cuzzle. Holding the flag is Malekith here. A noob sniper in the back end. As in, at the back end of the line, as opposed to anywhere else, before you start thinking otherwise. Because I know how you guys think. 
Not that you're at all predictable, but you are. So, the poll is rejected by the minority. There we go. So, moving up in a lovely long line, the first CTA, led by Colonel New Guy. The first EB pulling back to the safety. Oh, look what they're going to see when they come over the hill. The first CTA, they've lost a man already. Two men now. They're going to try and claim as many as they can. Now they pull back to the safety that the hill provides them. And their opponents over here are a little bit more exposed. You can see here the 16th. The lights and supported by a line on their left flank. Oh dear. We'll wait and see what's going on. There's Minsk meat. Oh dear. More team kills. But you've also got this line over here supporting as well. The 16th Colonel Aleko the Greek. And JL Taylor. So you can see these guys continue to try and put some fire down onto these this line which has been trimmed the 19th lights by the looks of it have had a few problems with bullet related injuries but now pushing the advantage you can see this British line moving closer the first CTA now engaging as the 19th recruits getting oh goodness me look at this an ambush oh an ambush a brutal ambush coming in. Oh, team kill, Winter Lich. It's Trilogos, uh, the 16th. Defending himself from all comers. Trying to dodge out of the way. Trying to jump. Wait and see. Find stab into him. And there's Sergeant Sam. And Natu moving away. Catching up with the rest of their team. Try and support them. Oh! Oh dear, Vetri burned well and truly got burned by a cannonball. Over the top of the hill and right in the mush. Just as we watched them. That was just brutal. So, they continue to push the advantage. 36 versus 40, so it's all pretty close. Nice kill there from the quick one with some canister shots. And more canister shot coming in from White Knight as well. Along with a couple of team kills onto Spooky. But, you know, acceptable losses and all that. Poor Spooky. Sergio Kong from the Tercio moving in. To help finish off the artillery. There's Noza Wizard, Rancor of the 19th. Oh goodness me, this is brutal. Major Warwolf is no more. He's had his pelt taken. Chellis of the first CTA defending. Pretty much on his own now. Look at this. Chellis is no more. So, oh, horse assassination is occurring. Sioux National with a bit of horse murdering to stop the cavalrymen having any horses they can use to repurpose themselves. Oh, you missed on the first swing. And you missed again. Okay, let's not watch that too much as that's probably not that complimentary. There's the invite, invite line all from the second TES. Who's this? Corporal Rico. He loses a member of the cavalry in front. And Corporal Rico, Lance Corporal Rico is finished off. One United Kingdom member remains.
This is going to go well. Who is it? It's Hunter 40,000 from the artillery. Let's go over and follow our man. Oh, it's the sailor. Of course it's the sailor. With the toothpick sword and the Johnson's baby bud. Oh, he's going in for a punch up. This should be entertaining. <laughs> oh dear, brilliant. <laughs> oh dear, fantastic. With a suicide before they managed to kill him. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rico. And thank you to the 19th for allowing me to cast the event and obviously for, for Astia for getting this set up. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you again for more. Take care. Cheers, guys.